Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging hexic equation. It is 65 minus x power 6 equal to 1 minus x whole power 6. This question I will solve without using binomial expansion of 1 minus x whole power 6. And we have to find out all real solutions. So let's use the method of substitution. I will consider 1 minus x equal to y. So I can write 1 minus x equal to y or x plus y equal to 1. This is our equation number 1. Now I will write our original equation after substitution. So I can write 65 minus x power 6 equal to y power 6. Now I can write x power 6 plus y power 6 equal to 65. This equation I will call equation number 2. And remember this was our substitution 1 minus x equal to y. Now I will frame one new system of equation where two equations are x plus y equal to 1 and second equation would be x power 6 plus y power 6 equal to 65. Let me consider one more substitution which will be required. It is the product of x and y. I will consider this is a. So let's consider x y equal to a. Now I will take the very first equation of this system and after that I will calculate x power 6 plus y power 6 from there. Okay. So I will be writing x plus y equal to 1. Let's take a square in. So I will write x plus y whole square, whole square. Now x square plus y square plus 2xy equal to 1. As per our substitution, we considered xy equal to a. So I will write x square plus y square plus 2a equal to 1 or x square plus y square equal to 1 minus 2a. Now I will take cube of this equation to get the value of x power 6 plus y power 6. As we know this value is 65. So I will consider cubing here. So cubing this side also. Now a plus b whole cube formula. So a cube x square whole cube x power 6 b cube y power 6 plus 3ab. So I will write 3x square y square in bracket a plus b. So x square plus y square. Right hand side a minus b whole cube. So I will write a cube minus b cube. So let me write a cube minus 8a cube. Then we can write minus 3a square b. So I will write minus 6a and plus 3ab square. So I will be writing plus 12a square. 2a whole square is 4a square times 3. So 12a square. Now you can see in LHS in the place of x, y I can write it is a. So let us apply. Here I will be writing 3a square and x square plus y square is 1 minus 2a. So here I will be writing 1 minus 2a. Equal to this side I will write 1 minus 8a cube minus 6a plus 12a square. And here it is x power 6 plus y power 6. Now in this place I will write x power 6 plus y power 6 equal to 65. Let's apply here. So here I will be writing 65 plus 3a square minus 6a cube. Right hand side is 1 minus 8a cube minus 6a plus 12a square. If I will take all the term to one side, then this equation or better is to say cubic equation would be 2a cube 
माइनस नाइन ए स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स ए प्लस सिक्सटी फोर इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज वन क्यूबिक इक्वेशन आई कैन यूज रेशनल रूट थ्योरम एंड सिंथेटिक डिविजन मेथड सो लेट मी राइट हेयर एंड लेट अस यूज टू ए क्यूब माइनस नाइन ए स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स ए प्लस सिक्सटी फोर इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ आई विल यूज रेशनल रूट थ्योरम सो आई कैन फाइंड आउट एलिजिबल फैक्टर्स ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म सो वी कैन राइट प्लस माइनस वन प्लस माइनस टू प्लस माइनस फोर प्लस माइनस एट एंड सो ऑन नाउ लीडिंग कोफिशियंट इफ यू विल फाइंड फैक्टर्स वी कैन राइट प्लस माइनस वन प्लस माइनस टू so if i will check values the ratio of constant to leading coefficient if i will put a equal to 1 will it be solution 2 minus 9 plus 6 plus 64 no it is not if i will put a equal to minus 1 then it would be minus 2 minus 9 minus 6 plus 64 no it is not if i will put a equal to 2 it won't be 2 cube is 8 And plus sixty four, that number would be bigger. A equal to minus two. So I will write here minus two cube minus eight, so minus sixteen. Minus nine times four, so minus thirty six. Six times minus two, so minus twelve plus sixty four. So this addition of negative numbers, it is minus sixty four plus sixty four. So it is coming out zero. that means a equal to negative 2 is our base solution so now we can apply synthetic division method so i will write all the coefficients of cubic equation the coefficient of a cube i will write 2 coefficient of a square minus 9 coefficient of a i will write 6 constant term or coefficient 64 leading term i will write as it is 2 now multiply with base solution so minus 2 times 2 minus 4 it will be minus 13 minus 2 times minus 13 26 addition will be 32 minus 2 times 32 minus 64 0 now i can write quadratic equation in a 2a square minus 13a plus 32 equal to 0 now we have to solve this quadratic equation find out the remaining two roots one root is confirmed that is a equal to minus 2 let us check the remaining two solutions so i will write this quadratic equation so i can write it is let me write here so i will write 2a square minus 13a plus 32 equal to 0 let me check only discriminant so discriminant is minus i will write minus 13 whole square it is b square minus 4ac so 4 times a times 32 so this value is 169 minus 8 times 32 so it would be 256 which is negative number complex solution will generate complex solutions so we will reject this quadratic equation for our real solution now which solution is accepted that is a equal to minus 2 so let me write a equal to minus 2 is accepted solution what was a a was our substitution it was xy so i will write xy equal to negative 2 now our first equation of system x plus y equal to 1 now it is very simple sum of roots product of roots i can frame equation in x as we have to find out x of the original equation variable x of from the original equation so i will frame one quadratic equation quadratic equation would be x square minus sum of roots so minus 1 x plus product of roots which is minus 2 equal to 0 or 
x square minus x minus 2 equal to 0. Let's solve this quadratic equation for original equation solution. I will write x square minus x minus 2 equal to 0. Let's use method of factorization. See the factors of 2 we can say it is 2 and 1. So if I will consider minus 2 and 1 then it will match with the central term. So I will write x square minus 2x plus x. It is minus x and minus 2 equal to 0. x common x minus 2 1 common x minus 2. Overall x minus 2 is common. So in bracket I will write x plus 1. So our ultimate solution once you will put x minus 1 equal to 0 then I will be having x is equal to 2 and then after I will put this bracket equal to 0 then I will be having x equal to negative 1. So two solutions are there. Let's verify both the solutions. I will write verification x equal to 2 and minus 1. So let me write x equal to 2. So 65 minus 2 power 6 equal to 1 minus 2 whole power 6. Check whether it is satisfying or not. So left hand side I will be writing 65 minus 2 power 6 is 64. Right hand side if you will see it is minus 1 whole power 6. So left hand side is 1 minus 1 power 6 1. So that means it is true. So this solution is true. Now come to x is equal to negative 1. Now I will put here 65 minus negative 1 power 6 equal to 1 minus x. So I will write 2 power 6. Is it true? So 65 minus minus 1 power 6 is 1. Right hand side is 2 power 6. Now left hand side is 64. Right hand side is 64. Which is true. So this solution is also true solution. So our ultimate solution for the original hexic equation that is 2 and minus 1. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.